Plus, I know that you don't want to be the oldest guy in the band, so... There you go. Um, <laughs> where, where's my trumpet? Thank you. You're late. You're fired. Uh, I just wanted to say something real quickly, and that is, first of all, I, I love Bel Air Press, and you're going to find out why real quickly. And that is that um, you, many of you may remember that one year ago, almost exactly to the day, I told you the story uh, of, uh, in 2015, I was diagnosed with a rare form of, of cancer. It was, uh, it was basically, I was basically told I had 18 months to live. So I went through, uh, well, the first thing that happened was when Kim Dorr found out about it, she came to our house and anointed me with oil. And that's, that's the person she is. <laughs> but my wife, Connie, and I went through this battle, which, which included a withering mix of surgeries and chemo and all the rest of that, and uh, we thought we got it, we thought we got it, and it just kept coming back. The cancer was relentless, and at the moment they wanted to do the last bit of treatments that would have um, just rendered me um, sick forever. Uh, faith was born because we landed on a scripture, Mark eleven twenty three, 23, and that scripture is powerful. It's what my life is, is it's the cornerstone bedrock of our lives now, and it is whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will be so, shall have what he says. Therefore, whatever you ask when you pray, believe that you receive it and you will have it. At the moment we found that, and we got the revelation of, uh, of that scripture Jesus talking, faith was born, and I was not only healed of cancer, but healed of everything else that was wrong with me, including arthritis and even colds. I don't get those anymore. And so uh, I wanted to uh, I wanted to thank you guys because when I shared that last year, what happened was I walked off this stage and over there in the corner, one of your congregants, David Gibbs, said, um, hey, could you call my brother, John, who is a neurologist in North Carolina, he is, uh, he is battling a deadly form of of, of cancer, could you call him and pray with him? And so, Holy Spirit tapped on my shoulder, and so I, t I jumped on a plane, flew to North Carolina to be with him, to lay hands on him. Connie was on FaceTime, and uh, the three of us, we claimed Mark eleven twenty three. And so today, John Gibbs and I, we have spoken, we didn't speak to God about his cancer, we spoke to cancer about God, and he and I both are doing incredible <laughs> Listen, I, I would just, I would just, I know you want to move on, but I don't, so what the heck. <laughs> so I'm looking at this, I've been with this orchestra now for, I don't know how many hours we've been and I'm looking at this, and these guys are, are truly amazing, orchestra and choir, and I'm thinking, you know, Malcolm Gladwell, he, uh, he believes that in order to master your craft, that you have to have 10,000 hours, right? You guys have, have heard that. So 90 people in the orchestra, right? So that's 900,000 hours, at least, of uh, practice, except for the trumpet section, of, of, uh, of, uh, of practice, and it sounds like that, doesn't it? Yes. So, when I was six years old, it's not over yet, sorry. My wife actually has, a, my wife actually has a, a sign over there and it says, stop talking. Um, but anyway, so you guys remember the hand exercise? When I was a kid, my mom had this, you can put the baton down, you're not gonna, you're not gonna use it for a while. So when I was a kid, my, 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 my mom put this egg timer, one of those minute minor egg timers, and it would sit on my piano, six years old, and it would tickle away and it would play. For two hours every day before I could go out and play stickball with the, with the rest of the kids. I used to think that I got good at it, I used to think that she was in the kitchen, right, making uh, fried chicken, and I thought, I could, maybe I could lift one hand and take 20 minutes off it, you know? But she was too good, she could tell when I had my hand. And then we just sit there, this hideous, hideous thing. <laughs> and to this day, when 60 minutes comes on? <laughs> okay, it's all yours. <laughs> 